Hello, I'm Ernst. In this video, I want to show you the deep toolset capability of the RTO oscilloscope. To do that, I have prepared a TTL signal that's running on the oscilloscope now, and we want to measure the rise time variations of that signal. So the first thing you do typically is to change the time to get a better statistics. So we now change the time scale to five microsecond per division, for example. Now we activate the rise time measurement. To do this, we first select the measurement pane. And now you see all the measurement capability of the RTO oscilloscope. And when we go to the rise time, we activate that one, enable statistics, and start and select the source. And now the measurement is started, and it automatically does the statistics here. The next step is now to go to advanced statistics and advanced measurements. So we have now a menu where you can select all the different, let's say, enhanced statistics that you see. First of all, we can have a long-term trend. That's important if you have slowly varying signals, um, the slowly varying rise time, for example. But we don't have that in the moment, so it doesn't make sense to activate that one. But the histogram is always a nice tool as well as the track, where the track shows the variations along the acquisition. So when we have activated that one, we close the dialog and you see we now have the statistics at the bottom. We have the histogram here and we have the waveform with an overlay of the track that shows the variations of the rise time along each acquisition. And you see there is no trend across the acquisition, but you see the rise time is varying. And you see that in the histogram as well as in the statistics. And please note that the update rate is really fast, given that measurement. And that's because the RTO is optimized for fast measurements and a fast update rate to deliver you a fast statistics and fast measurement results.